In this video, I will share to you my thoughts on the Jcraft Classic series. If you want to know more about this guitar, and if you want to know if this guitar is for you and or your church, then check this video out. <laughs> the Jcraft guitar and this is you know a hot guitar kasi it is only 4,200 pesos yun yung SRP niya well at least I bought it at that price 4,200 so I'm gonna share to you the things that I like about this guitar number one the price <laughs> It's just 4,200 pesos plus 450 na shipping kasi Mindanao kami. So I love this guitar kasi mura lang siya guys. <laughs> that is actually the number one uh, reason kung bakit ko to binili. I wanna check out the guitar kung quality pa rin ba siya kahit na 4,200 pesos. Kasi the common uh, stigma pag mura yung guitar cheap yung guitar, meaning cheap din yung tunog niya, cheap din yung gawa niya, cheap din yung pagka, you know, yung feel niya, alam mo yun, yung parang pag-bend mo ng string, pati yung fingers mo, nabibend rin. <laughs> yun yung isa sa reason, 4,200, will it compensate sa quality na gusto ko? Or normal ba na pag bumili ka ng cheap guitar, cheap din yung tunog na kinalabasan? So I tried it out and bought this guitar so that pag nakita mo tong video na to, you will have your thoughts on it as well. Number two, yung pinaka gusto ko sa gitara na to is yung setup niya, yung feel. Right out of the box, when I took it out, talagang yung feel niya, it's very, very nice. Kaya okay, kaibigan ako na may guitar shop dito, if you wanna check him out, then check out Jira Custom Shop. That's the guitar, you know, place for you. If you're a guitar player and you want your guitars to be set up perfectly, check niya siya guys. Based siya dito sa CBO and he's a beast. So I would really say he's one of the best luthiers here in the Philippines. So check him out, you guys. Jira Custom Guitar Shop, dun sa may Lapasan, Cagayan de Oro City. Ayan, back to the guitar. So yung action niya, guys, hindi siya cheap. I went and tried out many guitars na, from the cheapest guitar to the most expensive guitars na na, na test ko. When you look at the guitar right here, alam mo yung gitara hindi maganda pagka setup kasi yung strings niya sobrang layo dito sa fretboard. Yung tipong makapag sampay ka na ng mga damit mo. <laughs> Pero eto, hindi. It feels good, you know? When you check out that, ganito na siya outside of the box. We didn't really set this up na ourselves. Nag-adjust, adjust pa kami. Hindi. Sobrang comfortable niya pag i-play. I can actually bend it even further, you know? Ganon siya kaganda. Ganon siya kasarap sa, you know, sa feel. And then yung neck niya, actually it feels good. Hindi siya yung gaya ng mga cheap guitars na sobrang laki yung fretboard, it feels good to me kasi I don't have, you know, the longest, you know, fingers there. But I can, you know, I'm comfortable sa pag, uh, pag-play na itong gitara na to. So yung fretboard, yung action, yung setup niya, it's very, very good. Superb, you guys. Superb. So number three, guys, is etong trem niya dito. And you guys, mind you, this one is free. It comes with a guitar, so wala na kayong problema dyan. Sa ibang guitars kasi, from pinakamura to, you know, just an average priced guitar, eto yung isa sa pinaka-struggle, etong trem bar. Kasi, ang tendency, pag ginamit mo to, it will go out of tune. But listen to this, etong J-Craft guitar, this is the classic guys, entry level, 4,200 peso guitar. Pag ginamit mo tong trem bar, hindi siya nadidi-tune. Let me prove it to you. See? It's still there. You know, hindi siya nadi-tune. Kung ibang gitara pa to, wala na. <laughs> Number 4 that I like when I purchased this guitar is yung accessory na kasama niya dito sa package na to, guitar case, yung strap. You know, hindi ko pa na-open yung strap, but this is the strap right here. Ayun. So for just 4,200 pesos, you have all of this. Wire, guitar, trem bar, strap, and then guitar case. Number five na gusto ko sa gitara na to is the opportunity that it gives musicians. Growing up kasi, nung nag-aaral pa ako ng gitara, I had, you know, a cheap guitar, but 
it was really a cheap guitar. Alam mo yun? It was so cheap. So masakit yung kamay ko pag nagpa-practice ako. It wasn't really set up well. It didn't have a great tone. Pati yung bass guitar ko dati. Imagine mo yun, sa sobrang budget niya, cheap niya na guitar, yung daliri ko dito, naglalagay ako ng scotch tape. Back then, I took pride on that kasi sabi ko, wow, I took the hard work and, and did all my homework, no? Learning my instrument regardless of the uh, limitations. That, then I realized when I, when I grew up and played that guitar again, sabi ko, sobrang hirap talaga ng practice ko noon kasi napapahirapan ako ng gear ko. But given this guitar, you know, if you have a younger brother or if you are a starting musician, you can just buy this guitar and have a good practice time and your practice time will lead you to the right path kasi hindi ka na mag adjust once you have the more expensive guitar by expensive i mean yung talagang standard quality guitars na gusto mong i-practice this is very important kasi when you are practicing you are actually developing technique and when you have uh, not so quality gear you will have hindi naman siguro wrong technique pero a uh, technique that is well adjusted to that equipment and then when you try now your technique to the guitars na standard talaga yung pagka setup you will find it hard kasi yun na nga accustom ka na dun sa old guitar mo na hindi maganda yung pagka setup just a quick story about myself no before talaga i re- i tried practicing the sweep i was 12 13 years old 14 years old i tried and i tried to practice sweeping i tell you talagang uh, practice sweeping but until now hindi ko siya makuha because it's really hard to sweep when your gear doesn't allow you to have the quality sweep that you want kasi yung strings ko hindi magaganda yung pag set up ng gitara pagdating ko dito nagriring na siya eto wala eh wala siyang buzz alam mo yun yung mga ganun in fact sa bass guitar nakapag slap ako flea yung style kasi bounce lang siya eh pero nung tinry ko yung kay Victor Wooten sobrang hirap talaga kasi ang tigas ng string yung dito ko pa hindi ko ma-develop develop yung left hand ko kasi nahirapan talaga akong mag-tap dito yung mga ganun na mga issue so this guitar gives us an opportunity to go to the right path sa practicing natin so there it is those are the five things that I like about this guitar about this purchase na ginawa ko with the Jcraft Classic na series nila. Sa dami kong sinabi dito, alam ko yung nasa isip ninyo. Ano ba yung tunog niyang gitara na yan? So let me just play the guitar para mapakinggan ganyan yung tunog nito with nothing in it, no overdrives, walang delays, walang reverb, just the pure tone of this guitar. Okay, I'm gonna start one by one sa pickups. You know, just gonna play a simple chord and then listen to the comparison so that you will hear it by yourself. Okay? Listen to this. So ayun, you heard my thoughts on this guitar, uh, you heard the guitar itself too. It'd be really great if I will hear your thoughts on it too sa comment section down below. Thank you for checking this video out and if you are new to this channel, please lay your hands on that subscribe button so you won't miss any video that I'll be releasing soon. This is Kyle of Church on a Budget PH that aims to help churches become efficient and effective. See you on the next video. Peace. Thank mm-hmm. you.
Mm-hmm.